Hi. Aloha. Hi. Aloha. Hi, Pete. Hi, this Paul. is Pete Dalton in the center of the universe in the UK in Birmingham, United Kingdom. Greetings, Pete. Good to see you. Good yeah, see you. and aloha. I'm Paula Brown. I'm my company's name is Chilightful, and I'm a graphic facilitator. I'm a quick sketch artist, and what I do is draw out other people's stories, classes, and workshops, and ideas, so they can be seen by the world. And I had the honor of uh, finally meeting Pete after many Skype calls and email chats. We met at Serge Kahili King's shaman intensive up in volcano village recently and for a one week workshop and i was and i was just it was a pleasure to finally meet pete and his great sense of humor and his talents and he's a fellow alakai a teacher of huna which i am and i had the honor of sketching a journal for the week of Serge's wonderful information and finding focus in many many different points that we were all learning there so today, the intent of today's conversation is to talk about that journal. And uh, Pete was kind enough to agree to say a few things about the journal. But first, I want to introduce Pete. I'm going to read a little cheat sheet for Pete because he's got so many talents. He's just so wonderful. He runs Urban Huna. And again, it's based in Birmingham in the UK. And Urban Huna was established in 2009 to help share and promote Huna knowledge, which we all are doing as Alakai. Huna is a name given to represent the esoteric knowledge from Hawaii. It's a philosophy and it. And Huna really is a, it provides a powerful approach to empowerment and practical utility for modern day living. So we're all kind of urban shaman as Serge's books point out. And Pete is an Alakai of Aloha International. And we Alakai are healers, teachers, and we've dedicated ourselves to spreading the word of Huna and the positive healings of Huna all around the world to make this world a better place. And that is called, we, we serve something called Aloha Project, and that's how we share Huna out there in the world. And in addition to Huna, Pete has many, many things in his toolbox. He's trained in a variety of modalities, which include being a certified trainer of hypnosis, certified trainer of NLP, trainer of future life progression, and he's an NLP master coach. He's a great teacher. And he, uh, and he does um, timeline therapy, master practitioner, thought field therapy, advanced meridian therapy practitioner, and a, how do you say this, side tap, psych. How do you say that? Microsensory like techniques. Oh, so, it's a tongue twister. <laughs> yeah. and, and also, he teaches the principles behind that, too. And he also has worked in the Western esoteric tradition, as, as most of us healers do. Pete is extremely passionate about Huna and its simplicity, beauty, and effectiveness. And I totally agree. It, it brings everything down to a simple philosophy that you can apply to anything. It's, it's, it's a philosophy. And when we were in Volcano Village, we were learning some of these shamanistic techniques. And I want to share the screen now so Pete can say what he needs to say about the workshop and also what I've done in the screen in, in terms of art. So here we go. Let's see. Ah, there it is. Ah. Yeah. So, what do you well, see in there? I'm, I'm seeing the first page of a wonderful, wonderful journal, which I have to say, um, thank you for, because I didn't know you were going to do this. So it was such a gift, you know, to, to come away and then get this. You know, it was almost getting another take on, on, on the workshop. So it's absolutely fantastic. I, I was bowled over and as you know I got in touch with you to thank you straight away because it was uh, just so impressive um, you know I, I'm just at the moment writing something about journaling about capturing reflections on things and and this is this is so perfect um, it's wonderful to see things you know in, in, in this visual way 
I um, I take copious notes. I just, I've always done that. <laughs> so I come back with, you know, I think I came back from about 90 pages of notes. And will mm. I, you know, I will look at them. However, it takes a lot to kind of reaccess them. Whereas I got this and it just, it's just there, you know, this part of this day, this part of this day. So it's absolutely fantastic. Um, of course, not just any visual. I particularly like the way that, you know, you kind of captured these things and, and your own style with it. Um, you know, I, I, I think every, or well, every page is an artwork. And as you know, I, I've, I've asked to borrow a, borrow a page from my own. <laughs> I was just so impressed by it. Um, but you know, it, neat, it neatly summarizes each of the sections of the things that we, we went through. Um, for example, this page now I'm looking at, which is about Pelé. Um, so nice, you know, I, I would have had about three pages of scrawl and scribble and still wouldn't have <laughs> captured <laughs> in well, this. You know, that's, <laughs> that's the charm of Serge. He, he takes a very, very complex um, set of healing techniques and he simplifies them. And then um, these tend to even simplify them and focus them even more because you're dealing with the Hawaiian language and the double and triple meanings of everything in the Hawaiian language, plus mm -hmm. all of Serge's wonderful, vast knowledge and I just think that uh, I was asking questions on every page, you know, when I was, when I was doing this and he was always wondering, why is Paula always asking to spell things? And I said, well, this is why. <laughs> I realize that now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I want to get this right because if you look, I mean, it's okay. Just the mere, you know, functionalities of what we do when we go into things, when we grok things and, you know, how to, how to do it. And how to how to use different forms of elements like Pele, like you're writing a blog on. It's 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 like it's all there, but it's so complex you could write seven blogs on Pele, you know, just about yeah. what we learned. So I'm so glad that you got a lot of information out of it and a lot of support for what you do and passing it on to your students and mm -hmm. doing workshops from then. So it's it just was a lot of fun to do. And I learned so much by showing this to everybody and surprising everybody with it. And I learned how it communicated to people and became a touchstone for their learning. So it's, it was so cool to give this away and I always do it as a surprise. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, it, it, it was wonderful. Um, yeah, I mean, that, that was a great, a great morning out, wasn't it, at the zoo? Yeah. And, and, and I, love, I love that, that because again, you know, you've, you've kind of captured it all and then you've also focused on particular things and, uh, and those are the things that you know, spoke to me about it as well. So absolutely fantastic. Um, and I, yeah, I love the seed bit and you've got that. I, so I, I just, you know, it's got a kind of movement to it as well, which I absolutely think is fantastic. So it kind of brings it, brings it all alive. Um, and of course, you know, we're processing things visually. We take things in much quicker visually. So yeah. it's a great way of remembering um, and, and possibly even getting a, another perspective on, on mm -hmm. know, other ways that we've recorded things. So it's absolutely, uh, absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah. I, yeah, I, it, yeah, we... It, this this journal takes us all over the place. We we were taught in the morning from 8 a.m. to noon, and then in certain situations where we went out to locations to learn from the environment. And so it takes the space and the place and the environment along with the teachings. And I think we're all so busy trying to master our own learnings that we don't see what's around us. And this this sort of brings me back to where we were and brings that special meaning back to the teachings because the teachings are definitely from Hawaii and Hawaiian philosophy. And even down to going to Volcano House and having a Mai Tai, the good stuff. <laughs> I see that on the <laughs> and getting together at night and talking about all our learnings and sharing our learnings. So it brings that whole experience into reality for people who do this 
and to have these wonderful lessons and classes, any, any class, any lessons always are in the environment and mm. so many things that he teaches. This was a long sketchbook. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah I, th I think picking up on that point, it, you know, whereas if you've got just the pages and pages written notes, you kind of lose this, the context for it. And this, it just so evokes Hawaii, so evokes being back there, you know? Yeah. Um, which is great because uh, my, my belief is that you learn, that when you go back into the context in which you've learned the thing, you, you're more likely to remember it. So this gets you back to that context better yeah. than handwritten notes. For yeah. Sure. And we did, we did some pretty powerful stuff too. And, you know, this isn't to show people yeah. how to do Huna. It's just to, show people what our experiences were and to share them with other people of the same experiences. And then at the end day, we did a timeline thing and it was thought it was really appropriate because it was time to say goodbye, time to say mm -hmm. aloha. So it, aloha is uh, the wonderful word for hello, goodbye, and the breath of life. And I just, I think all the people, you know, were so beautiful in this workshop. And I hope that the, that the journal reflects that beauty of everybody that was there as well to share that. So it just was, it's so much fun. So, so that is the, that's the, that's the sketchbook that was done. So lots of learning and people from all around the world and lots of languages spoken. And so everybody shared the pictures and mm -hmm. shared the same knowledge that way. So we're going to get back to you now. And thank you. This was, this has been fun. So, Hey, do you have any, any, uh, any parting comment oh, before well, I show I, people how to get a hold of you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I, as I say, it's, it's a wonderful gift. Um, I think your types of drawings would be fantastic. You know, when, for example, people train me, they go through big changes and, uh, sometimes capturing things visually like that would just be fantastic. So there's, uh, it's got so much potential as a, a memory tool, as a teaching tool. Um, yeah. Fantastic. I, so and I, I think what a wonderful gift. A wonderful gift you. you've got and that you've given to others. Yeah, it's part of my aloha. And uh, I'm going to tell you part of my aloha, how to get a hold of Pete, because Pete mm -hmm. is a wonderful experience all his own, just having a conversation, let alone taking a workshop from him or teachings from him. Hey, you can go to England. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to find, I'm going to find how to get a hold of Pete here. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, yeah. there's Pete's information. Pete is, again, Peter Dalton. Urban Huna, and you can get a hold of him at Pete at urbanhuna.org, and his website is www.urbanhuna.org. And anything else you'd like to mention for people who get a hold of you? Do you have any hot offers? <laughs> <laughs> no, get, get in touch. I'll be doing some writing which will involve, uh, involve some of your images soon, so uh, that'll be on the website soon. Oh. But yes, please get in touch. Oh, great. Well, look, look at Pete's website for my art. <laughs> and then you can get a hold of me by, oh, let me see if I can find where I am. I am at Chilightful. That's me, Paula Brown. And you can get a hold of me at Chilightful.com. And you can see my stuff on picturestorming.com. And enough said about me. I just so enjoyed meeting Pete, finally, we had um, emailed back and forth in group chats many, many times being Alakai, and I must honor what Pete does. And it's such an honor to meet other people that are so passionate about making this world a better place. And that sounds huge, but it's each one of our passions, and Pete just reflects that, I mean... 110%. And it's such an honor to be with him in Aloha International. And I really thank you very much for your wonderful words and your aloha. And I just said, okay, so it's time to say aloha, goodbye, time to say goodbye. <laughs> so, so aloha, Pete, and thank you very much. Aloha, Paula. <laughs>